Quick question, do you know what this is, how to use it and how to choose it? Well, that's the topic of today's video. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, economist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of the Posture Academy. But before we start, check out my new self-assessment for office workplaces based on 11 questions. going to send you a customized report based on your, on your answers. Check it out. It's free, but it's worth a lot. So back to our topic. This is a pressure relief cushion for the coccyx or tailbone area. Yeah, it's not meant to raise you or not just meant to raise you. It's meant because of this gap here to relieve the pressure in that area. So you use it like this. Yeah, the hole is in this direction. And when you sit on it, well, you do feel that under that sometimes sensitive area, there's more space. But now, there are a few things you need to know if you want to use that properly. Number one, not all the pains that you feel in that area are due to the coccyx. The um, buttock muscles refer pain there too, so then check out this video in which I discuss it. Number two, as the cushion has a certain thickness, well, when you put it here, you're going to artificially raise the chair height so you need to lower your chair and what you need to bring higher is the lumbar support because you also raised your belt area now the issue is that many chairs don't have the range of adjustment that my kinaps plus eight has sometimes that can be a bit of a problem now, what are the criteria to choose such a cushion? I think there are three of them. Number one, it should have this shape, not the one where the cushion is closed at the back. Otherwise, it's, the chances are big that it presses exactly where you want relief. Number two, it should have a rather flat section, meaning not a very, you know, shapey curve. Otherwise, you take the risk that, you know, the dimension is, is wrong for you. And that is especially if you buy it for your colleagues, if you buy it for a few dozens of different people, you know. I mean, you want it to be as, call it, democratic as possible. Number three, in terms of material, well, you know, you have different types of. And you see, I have another one here. This one is uh, made of uh, foam. This one is made of gel, or the other way around, I don't remember. And, you know, whereas they are exactly the same in terms of shape, they do feel different because it's a different feeling. And, well, there I have to be honest with you, that's not something that you can assess on Amazon or online. So, you know, there's always some risk that you buy a cushion which is too firm, too soft, or not comfortable for you. So geometry gives you some answers, but there's maybe a 15 to 20 percent uh, incompressible risk. The last criteria might be that you want this anti-slip um, under surface to avoid that the cushion slides in the chair, in which case you would go there. And not only is that bad for your back, but it's also increasing the strain in the uh, buttock muscles, which are the ones referring pain to that coccyx area. That's what you needed to know for these cushions. If you find it useful, like, share, comment, and see you soon for the next one.